thank you for joining us on the Semper Gumby channel today. Well, we are inside of the house. We are actually in the kitchen today because it is 70 degrees in here and 105 degrees outside. Um, the garage is even hotter than that. And yesterday we had a heat index about 115 degrees. I don't know about you guys, but I am anxiously waiting for the fall because I cannot operate my cameras and my GoPro out in 3000 degree temperatures out there before it starts to uh, shut itself down. And today's video is sponsored by Lee Time and they make great lithium iron phosphate batteries and accessories to go with the battery itself. So what you see here is going to go in the camper, but today we are going to hook everything up inside of the kitchen and we're going to go ahead and power up some appliances to show you what this battery can do, such as microwaves, coffee machine, espresso makers. And we're going to see and put it to the test what shuts this inverter down and what doesn't. What you see here is the new Lee Time 12.8 volt 100 amp trolling motor battery. These just came out. So if you got a, a boat or a kayak or anything on the water or anything that takes a beating um, with the bouncing, and everything, this is the battery for you to get. Um, this also can go in RVs, campers, trucks. So it's a kind of like a multi-purpose battery but it's definitely designed for being on the water to take the, the, the harsh conditions as far as the impacts. And we also are gonna hook up our lead time 2000 watt pure sign inverter to the battery. And then we're gonna hook up some appliances such as maybe we'll try a microwave, coffee machine, and some other things we got around the house to show you that this little battery and this inverter can handle the load. So, this is a brand new microwave. Um, I bought it uh, last year for a, uh, a spare for uh, my camper. But uh, let's see if this will power up the microwave. So right now, your microwave power is on. Let's go set it for 30 seconds or three minutes. Right now we're drawing 700 and 1,027 watts off the inverter, 1,026. So it's holding steady about 1,000 watts. So 1,000 watt microwave, a little microwave by Magic Chef. Um, the inverter seems to be working okay. So, and it did not shut down. And then we go back up to 110 volt, 13.2. So, yes, it could, it can run a microwave. Okay. What we have next here is my Seiko Espresso. Uh, coffee machine and let's see powered up and let's see if this it heats this uh, heating element uh, showing about 700 watts uh, so it's basically heating up the element and a lot of coffee machines uh, draw a lot of wattage um, from uh, batteries so let's see if this will uh, work seven hundred and thirty watts and oops. Let me turn off the steam. And as you can see, we have hot water. Oh, okay. well, I need to clean that. <laughs> but yes, it can power up an espresso machine also. So if you go camping or moondocking or 
you know, it's just off-grid stuff, uh, you can power up some of your appliances. Let's try something else. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this run for about 30 minutes to an hour. We're going to monitor the wattage and the power off the battery and uh, see how it does with this uh, inverter. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that this inverter and battery system by lead time uh, can maintain this, but I believe I can run it probably about five to seven days with no problem. And like I said, this has been a great cooler, no problems at all, super quiet. And right now we're showing 13.1 volts, or I'm sorry, yep, 13.1 at uh, 31 watts. Now this is the perfect setup for somebody if you wanna go off grid, um, and do something you can even use do this at home and if the power goes out you have a way to keep your 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 food your perishables uh, cool your drinks or if you just go out on a uh, a day trip with the family or go you know go camping for a couple days this setup will be enough for your system and you know I'm only drawing 32 32 watts off this thing so I have plenty more uh, power that I can use from this inverter. But uh, if you're looking for off-grid or just something backup, I believe a lot of in redundancy. So I have a second setup in the camper. But as soon as my solar power panels get out here or my solar panels get out here. So here we are four hours later and the Bouge RV refrigerator is still uh, going strong. In fact, it's at 39 degrees uh, as far as temperature. So the drinks and stuff we got in there are ice cold. But the cool thing is the battery status indicator for the lead time battery is still showing a full charge with only 35 watts of output. So that's telling me that this battery uh, would power this thing for days. And uh, I'm not going to run through the you know, the five, six, seven day um, testing. Um, this was just a short video to show you that something like this uh, in your setup could be beneficial. And this is one way to get power uh, to your electronic products. Another way is to use a solar power generator like, a, uh, like my Blue Eddy or some other uh, brands out there. But this right here, Using the sun to recharge the battery, it's free power. So I am very impressed with the lead time uh, products, especially the trolling motor battery and the inverter. So what I'll do is I'll put all the information and the links in the description box below. I will also put a, uh, a promo code for you to receive a discount uh, off any of their products. But... I'm very impressed and I am looking forward of keeping this and, and having the setup in the camper this fall. So this is going to be it for this video. So if you have made it this far, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because that helps the channel quite a bit. And all you have to do is click on that subscribe button on the bottom right of your screen. Hit that bell icon and then hit all notifications. And you'll be notified of all videos that I put out. Like I mentioned before, I'll try to put two to three videos out a week for you guys. And if there's any videos you guys want to see or testing that you want me to do, um, go ahead and put it in the comment section. And I'll try If I have it, I will do it for you. But just a couple more weeks and we can get back to our camping series. So I, I can't wait. Um, like I said, today is like 3,040 degrees outside, so um, there's not much of anything. I mean, there's no movement out there. There's no, not even the squirrels are rolling around. But uh, stick back with us again uh, in our next video. And no matter what life throws at you, and it will throw stuff at you, always be Semper Gumby. Semper Gumby out.